that includes uh, some familiar names that we've heard before. Uh, Sarah Ayanna who mm -hmm. did pretty well in the last election. Right. And uh, also Teresa Rayford, who is a longtime activist here in the city. Hmm. So it should see some changes no matter how we look at it, right? Yeah, yeah. the city council will be very different mm -hmm. come November. All right, well, plastic bags could soon be a thing of the past in Oregon and other states. Actually, Oregon just passed the law banning plastic bags. Um, but bags built to last are starting to take hold with some shoppers. Well, one company is hoping to make that happen by offering some new bags here. Cor Harlan joins us live to explain uh, what they are and why they could be an advantage. Thanks. Well, they're going to be pretty cool. We're trying to get rid of these single-use plastic bags, and one of these things is a solution for this. Starts after you've scanned your groceries at checkout. This is called the Lotus Trolley Bag right here. Now, it doesn't look like a lot when it's attached by Velcro to the, to the handle of your grocery cart, but after you get those groceries scanned and they're ready to be bagged, let's do it here. We're going to do, I've got Terry Lundy with me. Here's how they come, right? So they, they come in this little thing that's all nightly, nicely wrapped up. You simply drop those over the rails of your grocery cart and watch this accordion style. You pull it wide open right out there. And let's, let's start loading this up. Terry, I'm going to have you just start putting a few things in here and talk about a few of the features here. Eggs and wine, let's start with. Yeah, we have pockets for wine, one on each side here. And one of the features I like is you have so many single bags at home and you have to put them in the in the seat of the cart and this one is all together and your eggs fit in there you can fit two, two cartons oh yeah two dozen eggs in there as well the lot of the uh, one of the other good things about these is as you as you roll them out here the capacity of these things okay there's a thing a 12 pack they're huge and that's only halfway full you get a big thing of cat food here too and put it in the same bag here you can easily put a week's worth of groceries into uh, these bags here. So Terry's loading it up here. We got produce to talk a little bit about too because produce, how many times have you taken one of those little single-use plastic bags, put some cilantro or parsley in there and then come back a day later, two days later and they're all turned to mush. These are mesh bags. I actually got some some uh, bulk mixed greens in there. That's a mesh bag that breathes so you can store that in your refrigerator. Just get the, uh, get the mesh, the, uh, the, the, the greens, put them in there wherever you want to. And look, these things come in different sizes, right? So if you want a big mesh bag there for produce, you can do that. And lastly, but not least, they have a frozen bag in here too. So you got a lot of frozen goods in here. Carl, check this out. The silver lining on the inside of the bag gives you a pretty good idea that everything you have that's going to be frozen, you can stick it right in there, in addition to some Bob's Red Mill up front here as well. And then, as you're done, okay? So you're done here now. You pop the uh, Velcro loose here. I'm getting a little bit of a wrap here, Terry. And you can pretty easily hold my mic a sec here. All right. There you go. Take these things up, pick them up. And you can roll out the, to the car. They set in the back of a car nicely and neatly. We're kind of, we're kind of, I'm a bag off here. Anyway, you get the idea. These are Lotus trolley bags. Jenny and Ken, and they are the answer to a lot of single-use plastic bag problems that we have now. They're available here uh, at the Market of Choice for 30 bucks for four bags, which is a pretty good investment in grocery bags going forward. Jenny and Ken? Yeah, those are stylish, too. I like them. Yeah, mm -hmm. no doubt about yeah. it. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you, Cor. Yeah, I was just thinking about when I go into the store now with my reusable bag, sometimes I'm just going to grab a few things. When you're walking around the store, is it okay to put it in your bag? I think so. Oh, I think question. I think I have done that. Okay. I had, you know, miscellaneous things, a big handful, and I was carrying a bag to use at checkout. I just put them in the bag and, and then, then walked brought to it checkout. To, yeah. No mm -hmm. one questioned me. I think it's pretty it's, obvious. It's probably what a you're dumb doing. question, but yeah. I always worry they're going to think yeah. I'm yeah. stealing if right. I put yeah. it in my bag while I'm walking around. Yeah. yeah. So, all you people out there, Jenny Hansen is not, not a shoplifter. Yeah. yeah. No. No. But I, <laughs> then I feel weird carrying a bag and carrying stuff. So get a cart, Jenny. Deep thoughts at this time cart. in the morning, yeah. Or just get a cart. Yeah. yeah. And I still like pushing them around. The <laughs> wheels are always broken. <laughs> I've got <laughs> issues. Squeaky. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh man. Well, we do get our groceries though. We figure out a way. Yeah. Uh, we, <laughs> we're here. Yeah. Uh, let's let's talk about uh, traffic and weather right now. We got Carly taking a look at what's happening out on the road. But first, Kelly, what do you see? Uh, it should be a wet day today.